Welcome back. All right, let's get some more gambling going on. So apparently, Dale, my other customer, we just opened that Legends Booster Pack. Link will be below of that opening. Check it out. And he wants to double up. Essentially, he wants to roll the dice, double down, split aces, whatever. He doesn't care. He's going to hit 17. He's going to try to hit Misha's Workshop or Bust. He bought one Antiquities Booster Pack. I pulled some for him. Enjoy the video, guys. Don't do this at home. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. All right, let's get the casino, the Vintage Magic Casino going. All right, so my client, Dale... Uh, is a really great guy. He likes to double down. He uh, got a really nice pack for the Legends pack. Link will be below if you want to watch it. So let's see what we get in this one Antiquities Booster Pack. I just don't know which one to choose. If I was Superman, I would pick the right pack. So there's only eight, there's only eight cards in this uh, pack. Uh, and it's, uh, I, I don't know, man. You pretty much have to get the Mishra's Workshop or Bust. Packs are going for almost like $750 plus now. Graded ones are even more. I think I'm going to open... Ah, oh man, it's hard. It's really hard. I don't know. You don't, you just don't know. And our pack... I'll just do this one. The, the packs are never searched. We don't deal with that kind of stuff. We get it from reputable sources. Wizards of the Coast employees. That type of thing. All right. So, let's see what we got. I also have bought out card shops or people who have... Had long collections who, uh, you know, people have passed away, estate sales and such. I don't, I think it's, okay, I'm going to go this way because I don't remember the sequence of events. Oh, that way. Okay, so like that. Okay, so I think, okay, so I think watching Open Boosters because he's the, the the king of opening these packs. I think the card, the, the uncom so I think there's comments and uncommon one and uncommon two i don't know maybe it was even uncommon three this was kind of part of that arabian nights thing i don't remember but we'll figure it out so really nice card off the top in terms of quality of card artifact ward that's a common i think i think i have this card uh, as a painting next we have orcish mechanics has anybody ever played this guy ever on a uh, old school magic but really clean really centered though really nice i like that okay battering ram Ooh, i like this one wow also centered this is a really nice pack they all have this corner though on the bottom like that which is pretty typical for all these cards but gotta say centering wise dale looking pretty nice if you were to grade these in my opinion Next one, Urza's Mind. There we go. All right. That's nice. That's nice. Look at that. Not as centered, but still really nice. Really nice. There's a, I think there's Urza's Mind, Power Plant, and Tower. I think there's like three versions of both. Something like that. Is that correct, guys? Or four? Three or four. I don't remember. Grape Shot Catapult. First off, who the hell shoots grape who the hell shoots grape shots at people i mean come on man this this set was just funny but what's really cool about this set i've always liked this set when i was too young i uh, when i was too young when i was younger i could not afford to buy this and i've always liked the artifacts and the whole thing i thought artifacts were really cool and stuff like that i'm gonna move this away all right what do we got next Argivian Blacksmith. Wow, look at that. Beautiful pack, fresh. Look at that. God, those nine corners. Just kidding. Nine five, hopefully. Jeez Louise. They're beautiful. I don't know. I don't know what Becca even gives nine corners for some of these pack fresh cards. I think they're pack fresh. It's all nine five corners. What do you think? I don't know. All right, so we are at five cards. Okay, we might have the first uncommon one. Thanos Wand. 
Okay. Don't remember that one. I think I have this painting. Yes. And look, it's centered beautifully. God, really nice centering. I got to say, really clean. Really happy with the quality of the cards. Sometimes they, I don't know, they're not as centered or they're not as, I don't know, the corner might be as deemed. And the last card is a Zenic Poltergeist. I don't even know if, yeah, wow, there's colors on this. It's beautiful. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful card. Look at this guy. I don't know uh, if this was a good card or not. Uh, I'm going to have to look it up. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So what I realized as I researched this is that on, um, you know, on the Beckett cases, it tells you like a U1, U3. I think there might be a U2. But uh, basically, yeah, that's what it was, is that if it's U3, these are two are U3s, Zano's, uh, Tano's 1 and Zenic Poltergeist being pulled on the back too. They are... The um, that's how many times they ran it more than the like U1, which is basically like the Misha's workshop. So these are three times more frequent and uh, than the uh, the Misha's workshop. That's I guess that's how it goes. Uh, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't that spectacular, but you know, when you play at the Vintage Magic Casino, you don't always win, but we all know it's always fun. All right, guys, enjoy, enjoy your life. Hope you guys are being safe. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you everyone for supporting our channel. It means a lot to me that you're enjoying the content we're putting out there. I have a Patreon page that supporters have access to special perks and rewards. Become a supporter at patreon.com slash vintage magic. As a patron, you receive exciting pricing on sealed product, flash sales, annual gifts, and personalized consulting services from me. Again, thank you for subscribing to our videos and supporting the channel. I love meeting players, collectors, and investors all over the world. If you see me at a Grand Prix, please come by and say hi. I would love to meet you. Thank you everyone for your support and friendship. Thank you everyone for watching the videos. I wanted to do a special thank you to Sam Tang from Kitchen Table Magic. Uh, he's been a great friend and a great artist uh, producing the videos been very patient with me in his directing. <laughs> and uh, um, I also want to thank Brian Weissman. Uh, Brian and I have become uh, friends out of this, and um, I've learned a lot from him. Um, and he's spent countless hours uh, sharing his knowledge and wisdom. Without you guys and the support of my Patreon, it, you know, this would never be possible. Uh, if you guys have additional comments or suggestions, I love to hear from you guys. Just go to vintagemagic.com and go to the Contact Us page. I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.